Cardi, this house we built looks so good. I know, right? I am so proud of this. Me too. Oh, wait. Oh, gosh. Why is there a skeleton here? What the heck? It's not even the nether, huh? Oh, my gosh. These wither skeletons keep spawning. It's getting so annoying. Where are they even coming from, Cardi? Uh, I think it might be that nether fortress right there. Wait, what? Since when was there a nether fortress here? Oh, my gosh. There's wither skeletons inside of it. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's definitely coming from there, Cordy. Let's go check it out. Okay, let's quickly kill all of these wither skeletons before they attack our house, okay? Yeah, let's get rid of all of them. All, all right. right, okay. That's good. What is this place? How did this even get here? I have no idea. I don't remember. There's like a statue here, too. Yeah, whoa. What is this? Is it uh, like, it's like kind of moving. A statue? Um, Cordy, I don't think that's a statue. That looks like a mutant wither skeleton. Uh, a mutant wither skeleton? Are we, oh, are we safe to be here? Um, I don't know. We should probably go back to our house. Oh, okay. I think we should get out of here, Smirky. What was that? Uh, uh, oh, oh my gosh. It's, it's breaking, breaking out of the cage. I think this mutant wither skeleton is going to break out of the cage at any time. Okay, let's get back to our house quickly. Before it breaks out completely, we have to protect our house. Okay, let's get back to our house quickly so it doesn't get attacked. I think to protect your house, we're going to do that by building some traps, Cardi. Okay, what should our first trap be? Our first trap should be making a lava pit around the house so the wither skeleton can't get to our house. Oh, that's smart. You get the lava buckets and I'm gonna dig the moat. Okay. Yeah, just fill up the moat like that. Oh, this is gonna work so well to stop the wither skeleton? Yeah, I think so too, Cardi. But we have to build this before it even escapes. So we gotta be quick. Yeah, we have no idea when it's gonna escape. So it could come out at literally any time. All right, I'm gonna keep digging the moat. Oh man, I'm nervous. We gotta get going quickly. Oh, this looks so good. This is like a whole lava moat around our house. So if anybody tries to walk through, this is what's going to happen. They're going to fall and burn in the lava, Cardi. Oh, this is going to be so good. All right, Cardi. Now that we know our moat works, I have a better idea. Let's go back to the Nether Fortress and replace some of the grounds with mines like this. Oh, that's smart. Is it going to blow up or something? Yeah, be careful not to walk on that because it's definitely going to blow up. Uh... Just to make sure I know what this does, can we place a test one over here and explode it? So the mine, how it should work is if we place this down and you walk over it, it should explode. Try walking Wait, over it, Cardi. That's just a dirt block. What are you talking about? Nah, try walking over it. Whoa! Whoa! That is so cool. Bro, that is gonna work so well against the Wither Skeleton. Yeah. Okay, so are all of these quartz blocks you're placing, are they all mines? Yep. And these gold mines, too. So if the Wither Skeleton walks on this, he won't suspect these are mines as well. This is going to yeah. be so good. Oh, man. We should also place some dirt mines along the way, just in case he doesn't die from those ones. Oh, he's going to have no idea that these are all mines. Yep. Okay. Just place a couple more. I think we're good. Cardi, you know, I just thought of something. So since our house is uh, around a lava moat, how are we going to actually get inside of it? You're right. I think we need some sort of bridge. Well, I have a better idea, actually. So there's okay. a thing called fake lava. And what happens is if you place the fake lava like this, what should happen is if I go into survival, I think I'm going to be able to walk in this without dying. Wait, so is it just lava that doesn't do damage? Yep, but to the normal people, this looks like normal lava. Oh, this is going to be good. This is the only secret entrance into our base. Now that we have a way to get in our base, I think we need to build some defenses outside of our base, too. Yeah, you're right. We need some weapons and stuff. Um, what are we going to do for weapons? I have an idea. We should just put a wood sword and maybe he'll step on it. Are you serious, Cardi? Nobody's going to die from a wooden sword. What? I thought it would work well. Okay, I'll throw it in the lava. I might have a better idea, actually. So what if we okay. get some sand and fill the outside of our house with cactuses? Oh, that's smart. Help me place some sand down so we can place down our cactuses. I think this is all the sand we need. So let's start by placing some cactuses like this. How big should we make the cactuses? We can make it go all the way to the world height. 
We could, but I think we only need three blocks. So if their skeleton isn't that tall. Yeah, you're right. So let's do this. Build some cactuses. This is looking so cool already. I know. These cactuses are going to stop him from entering the base no matter what. But we got to be careful because if we walk into these ourselves, we might die. Uh, sh so how are we going to get past them? Are we just going to have to maneuver around them? Let me test it out. So I think all we have to do is, is safely walk through here. Don't get hit by the cactuses. And then we're going to be able to swim across the lava moat like that. Oh, that's good. That's going to work so well against the mutant wither. Speaking of the mutant wither skeleton, we should probably go check on it to make sure it's not breaking out even more. Okay. Let's go over there. All right. Make sure not to step on the mines. Yep. Oh my gosh, Cardi. Oh, uh, do you see all the rubble and debris it made? It's breaking out even more. It's even breaking the nether brick. We should probably place something like some iron bars or something like this. That's a good idea. That'll keep it in. Yeah, hopefully it won't break all the glass, but, but these iron bars should keep it here a little bit longer while we can build our house. That's smart. Let's quickly get back so we can build some even more defenses. All right, Cardi. Since uh, this Wither Skeleton could break out at any moment, I actually have a really, really good idea. This is a security camera. And basically Whoa. what this does is it's going to allow us to go in our house and be able to look at the Wither Skeleton from all the way over here. Well, that's smart. So what if we place some security cameras in this area like this? And then we right click this. So once we go all the way over back to our house, we can look at the wither skeleton from here. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, this will let us know exactly when it breaks out. Yeah, I can see the wither skeleton walking around in real time. It's like a prison cell. True, it is like that. We should also probably put some more security cameras along the way. All right, just like a big path of security cameras. So let's build some towers like this and put some security cameras on them. All right, put a security camera on this pole. We can build a pole right here as well and probably build one closer to the house. Okay, I built a couple too. We're gonna have total view of what he's doing always. So now that we have security cameras, we can pretty much see our entire pathway all the way to our house. Look, I can see myself on the roof. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is amazing. This is definitely gonna help us against this Wither Skeleton. I think we should build more weapons. We have to have a way to defend against it once it comes to us. Yeah, I have an idea. What about fireball cannons? Oh, that's smart. Where should we build them? In front of the cactuses? Yeah, I think that is a good idea. Let's make a staircase in our house that goes to the roof. And then what we're going to do is build a pathway that goes to the fireball cannon. All right, like this. We're going to put some stairs down like this. So now that we have a pathway going up to our roof, I think we should build some fireball fireball cannons right here. What do you think, Cardi? Is this gonna be too high to hit the wither skeleton? Uh, it might be, but we can put it a bit lower if that's an issue. Okay, we could do some redstone so we can pull the lever from up here, but it will fire them from down there. That's a really good idea. So let's do this. All right, so we place some fireballs in the dispenser like this. All right, and then we get more fireball dispensers. And then we get some more fireball dispensers, place them like this. All right, this is looking Looking so cool. And now that we have this, we need to do a little bit of redstone to hook up all these things to one switch. So let's do that. And then we make this go over in the sides like this. Oh, this is looking really good. This is going to work so well. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, and you've already filled them all up with fireballs. We could pull this lever so many times. Now, all we need to do is place a lever like this, Cardi. So come up here. Okay. And look at this. Whoa, look, at look how many it fires. That's so cool. It's setting the whole nether fortress on fire. Wow, this is going to work, if anything. This was such a good idea. Do you think the wither skeleton's going to be a little bit suspicious, though? Is there any way we could cover this up? Um... I mean, there is a way we can cover up. I have an idea. So I have an idea, Cardi. With blocks like this, you can actually put paintings over it. So it looks like it's just a painting when in reality, wow. it's a hidden machine. Oh my gosh. 
Wait, you want to try pulling the lever to see if it actually still works? Whoa! It That's definitely so still works. Cool. He's just going to think that this is like some art on our house, but it's a weapon. That's going to work so cool. And we're actually setting the whole Nether Fortress on fire. Good, good, good. But I have an idea. So this looks like a bunch of traps for the Wither Skeleton. Like, I think if I was the Wither Skeleton and I was trying to attack our house, I would think this is all a trap. So what if we put something that doesn't look like a trap so this is a fake water bucket cardi and what this does is when you swim in it it actually does damage to you wait let me try doing that in survival mode oh it does so much damage get i gotta out get out quick we can make like a swimming pool let's build a swimming pool in front of our house with this fake water so let's dig out a little bit of a hole for it all right this is a really good idea i think so too he's just gonna think it's like a friendly invitation to a pool party but nope this is a death trap. This doesn't even look like a trap at all, but I think we should make this look more like a pool. So I have an idea. So let's place some quartz around the pool so it looks like an in real life pool. All right, Cardi, help me fill up the rest of this area with quartz so it looks like a pool. All right, this is looking more like a pool already. Whoa. Oh man, this is good. This looks like our own private pool. And to make this look even more like a pool, I'm gonna build some mini umbrellas. So he thinks it's just a pool party well in reality it is a death trap i'm gonna put a diving board too just to make it look even more convincing that's a good idea cordy that's a yellow umbrella for me and i'm gonna build a green umbrella for you this looks so good but how are we actually gonna get across this pool because we need the wither skeleton to chase us yeah you're right um we could make like an underground path path maybe Ooh, that's a cool idea all right i have an idea if we want to make a secret pathway we should make one right in front of the pool so we can place some secret trap doors down like this i don't see anything what did you place down this looks like normal dirt but try walking on it what it's like a trap door it's actually a pathway whoa okay and then i'll add a ladder here too just so we can get out whoa this looks so cool whoa cardi this doesn't even look like a secret pathway i know it's just blends in with the environment perfectly this looks so good yeah so we need to make this pathway go around the pool so the water doesn't attack us so you dig out the pathway okay i'll place some torches too just so no mobs spawn down here we can't have any more wither skeletons getting down here that's a good idea we just need to keep on digging and we can probably go up right here we're closer to the house right here after all okay this looks good whoa this is gonna work really well our tunnel looks so good right now cardi this doesn't even look like there's a tunnel here cardi we need to make like a tower here like a watchtower yeah what if we built a sniper tower right here oh that's smart that is so smart. So I have a perfect idea on how we're going to build this. We're going to get some wood and some fences and make a quick sniper tower. All right. So let's build some holes like this so we can get up high and have a vantage point against the wither skeleton. All right. And then what we're going to do is place some fences around it so it can't attack us. Oh, that's smart. And we'll be able to get up super fast. Yep. All right. Help me put some fences on this so we can get up. This is looking so good right now okay we're almost done just a couple more fences all right sick so now we have the ladder built, but we need to make an actual platform for us to go on. All right, let's build the platform like this. Okay. Whoa, this is looking so good. How big should it be? Is this good enough? Yeah, I think this platform is good enough, but how are we actually going to get to our house from here? Arnie, do you think it's possible to jump on our house from here? Let's see. Oh, we're going to fall in the lava if we miss. Yeah, let's not do that. So I have a better idea. What if we build some parkour across to our house? Oh, that's smart, and the wither skeletons won't be able to follow us. So let's do a jump like this, a jump like this, and then a harder diagonal jump like this. Yo, this looks so good. So then all we have to do is jump across and get down. Then we'll build a quick ladder right here to get back up. But what if we fail the parkour? Ah, uh, this is so hard. Well, if we fail the parkour, we might need to build some stuff down there at the actual house. Should we build a fence around our house with lasers? We could do that. That'd be pretty cool. That's a good idea. So let's do that. Let's get some laser blocks. So we should place some laser blocks around this way. So if the wither skeleton makes it this far, it won't be able to get in our house. So we'll do this. 
this. Oh, wow, this is smart. Then we need to make a second layer of laser blocks, like around three blocks above this. All right, and then let's make a laser pathway around our house like this. Oh my gosh, this is looking so cool, Cardi. Wow, our entire house is filled with lasers. But what do we want to do with these lasers? We could hook them up to alarms. Oh, that's smart. And then if they walk into it, it'll set off the alarm. All right, let's get an alarm and place them on top of the lasers. I wonder if this even works. Whoa! Whoa. Let's place some alarms on top of the lasers like this. This will let us know if they come. All right, this is looking so good. So if any mob alerts the lasers, we're going to be the first ones to know it. Yeah, this sounds so cool. This is epic. Cordy, now that we have a whole laser security system outside the house, I think now's a good time to go check up on the Wither Mutant. Oh, look how destroyed the castle is. The entire Nether Fortress is destroyed. Oh, no. Look at the area it's in. It's almost all destroyed. I don't think we have that much time left before it completely breaks out. Oh, we have to get ready to survive this. Let's go get armor and a bunch of weapons in our house, okay? So what kind of armor do we want to put? I have an idea how we can get the armor on quickly. So if we get some dispensers and get a pressure plate. So once we get the dispensers and pressure plates, what if we put them in a corner like this? And then we place pressure plates on the ground. And once we do that, we can place some armor in the inside like this. And now when we step on the pressure plates, what should happen is it gives us the armor. Like, look at this. Whoa, Whoa, that's instant. I have a bunch of weapons we can use to fight it. Like, I have a bunch of new weapons that have never been in the game before. Like a diamond bow. Whoa. And we have, like, long swords and everything. This is going to be so helpful. Whoa, this is going to be so good. Cordy, now that we have working armor machines, I actually forgot that I put something very important in the house. Yeah, what was it? So under the staircase, a long time ago, I built an emergency stash of golden apples. What? There's so many. So to take as many as you need because um i think it's getting a bit later oh shoot it's turning dark yeah i think the wither skeleton's gonna come out soon okay let's get ready should we should we get the armor right now i think so cardi let's put on our armor like this whoa that looks so cool whoa we kind of look like wither skeletons but that's probably good if we're fighting a wither skeleton yeah we'll probably do extra damage to it or something all right let's go check on the wither skeleton Okay, be careful to dodge all the traps. This is hard. We're setting off our own alarms. That's how you know we made a good design. Yeah. Okay, Cardi, um, now that it's nighttime, I'm a little bit scared of going in that fortress. I can't lie. Me too. So, um, remember when I put security cameras in there earlier, right? Oh, yeah, I remember. So we can actually just click on this and check it from the inside. Oh my gosh, Cardi, you won't believe it. What's happening? The place is exploding and the wither skeleton is pretty much entirely broken what? out. What? We have to do this quickly. I think the wither skeleton's gonna attack us soon, but we should have attack it before it attacks us come on yeah let's catch it off guard let's go and get it make sure to dodge all the mines we can probably shoot it from here whoa it charged at me try and get it to hit some mines all right come across the mines with our skeleton he's dodging all the mines he's dodging oh, no. all the mines we have to get in the tunnel quick oh no this is bad our defenses aren't working come on we need to get in the tunnel okay i'm whoa, coming down quickly he's exploding it get in the tunnel before oh, it kills no. you Oh my okay, gosh. okay, I'm here. We're safe here for a moment, Cardi, but we should probably get out quick before it destroys our tunnel. You're right. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh, here's the watchtower. We could. Oh, it's, it's in, the in the pool. Yes, it worked. We should probably <laughs> shoot it while it's in the pool. Oh, it got out. Quick, quick, get it. Okay. Oh, oh, it's firing stuff up here. Oh, the wither skeleton is taking a lot of damage. Just keep shooting it. Just keep shooting it. I have an idea. We probably should get off the archer tower soon because I think it's going to attack us. Whoa, watch out, watch out. Get on top of the roof. Okay, we made it. We forgot to use this. Oh, no. All right, Wait, use it quickly. It's right in front of it. Turn it on. Oh, we got it. It's It's, it's falling for all the traps. It's taking damages from the oh, cactus. The Let's cactus go. is such a good idea. 
Burn it on! Shoot all the fireballs we can! I can go down and just hit it a couple times with my sword. All right, we gotta kill it. It's stuck. It's setting off the alarms. What the heck? Oh, no, this is going badly. It's right at our house. Oh, I killed let's go let's go you got it that was our last defense good thing it worked Cory. if you enjoyed this video remember to subscribe and watch the video on the screen it is by far my best one yet bye bye guys bye